In this session, we are going to learn about engineering design, what are the various design levels and what are the cause of failures in engineering designs. First, let's understand what is an engineering design. An engineering design is the process of devising a system or a component or process to meet desired needs or user requirements. Engineering design is an iterative design making process in which the basic science, maths and engineering sciences are applied to optimally convert resources to meet a stated objective. Iterative means we are repeatedly doing the same process. Optimization is a key parameter in case of engineering design. We have to produce maximum output with minimum resources. So the optimal conversion of resources to meet a stated objective is a key parameter to be considered while designing a product. Next let's see what are the various design levels. The first one is adaptive design. Mostly designers work will be concerned with the adaptation of existing designs. There are branches of manufacturing in which development has practically ceased so that there is hardly anything left for the designer to do except some minor modifications, usually in the dimensions of the product. For example, some of the products available in the market have some standard specific patterns available for years. The same design pattern is used again and again with some minor modifications. So here the designer doesn't need any special knowledge or skill to solve the problem. A designer with ordinary technical skill can solve this sort of problems. For example, elevator. For years, the elevator is using the same concept and same design strategies. There is no change in the design pattern of an elevator. And in washing machine also, we can see the same design pattern. Only the options or dimensions of a washing machine are changing. All the design concepts are same. Next is development design. Here, considerably more scientific training and design ability are required for the designer. The designer starts from an existing design, but the final outcome may differ from the initial product. For example, the manual gearbox system in cars are now changed to automatic gear system or the traditional CRT television are changed to modern plasma and LCD versions or even the wired telephone that we used before is now converted to mobile phones. The next category of design level is new design. From the name itself, we can understand it should be a completely new thing that is not existed in the world so far. So the design should require creativity, imagination, insight and foresight. Example, the design of the first automobile or the first aeroplane or camera etc. Anything that is first designed in the world can be considered as a new design. This is one of the most difficult design level because it requires high quality thought process. Next is what are the cause for failures in most of the engineering designs or what are the generic reasons for failures in engineering designs. The first one is the incorrect or overextended assumptions. The designer may assume something that the system will behave like that at a particular condition, but it may not be true always. So the incorrect or overextended assumption may lead to system failure. The next one is poor understanding of the problem to be solved. The designer should well understood about what he is going to solve. What are the various constraints to be considered? Where we are going to apply this particular system? If the designer fails to understand the problem clearly and precisely, then there is a chance of occurring failure. The next thing is incorrect design specifications. The specification provided by the, the specifications provided may not be always correct and precise. There may be some design ambiguities. This may lead to the failure of the entire system. The next one is faulty manufacturing and assembly. This is a very common cause for most of the engineering design failures. If we are using the faulty component or a faulty module while assembling a particular product, then it may lead to the failure of the entire product or the system. Next is error in design calculations. We have to precisely and accurately do the calculations. Otherwise the design may go in vain. Designers may design some systems 
using trial and error methods they are doing some sort of experiments it may not be always complete or successful so incomplete experimentation may lead to the system failure and the next is errors in drawings for most of the engineering designs we have to give a graphical representation or drawing so that the developer can easily develop the system but if the designer is committing mistakes in his drawings it may lead to the product failure and the last one is inadequate data collection for some sort of system we have to collect some data for example if you are planning to construct a bridge over a river then we have to collect the data like the width of the river flow of water current etc so that we can accurately design or model the bridge if this collected data is inadequate or incorrect then it may lead to the system failure so these all are the various causes for failures in most of the engineering designs thank you